Okay, so we are in my absolutely spotless, neat as a pin shop, talking about uh, some speaker failures. Uh, first, I'm going to say this is a vintage CTS uh, Alnico magnet speaker, and this is a perfectly good, healthy speaker. When you thump the cone, it's just a nice, almost drum-like tone. And when you gently move the speaker suspension in and out, it moves freely and doesn't make any strange noises. Here we have uh, a speaker that is, in fact, blown. And when you tap the cone, you get one heck of a rattling sound out of it. And when you move the suspension in and out, you hear a little bit of a rub there. And you can actually feel the rub as well. Now here is an old uh, Alnico speaker uh, that in fact is also uh, blown. And when you tap it, very similar. Again, a speaker shouldn't sound like that. It sound like that. And this speaker also, when you actually exercise the cone in and out, this is almost freaky. Yeah, see, that's a voice coil that is just totally toasty under there. Um, so anyway, so there you go. If, in fact, you're uh, wanting to, say, for instance, look over an amplifier at an auction somewhere or something like that, and you don't get a chance to play it, and you're wondering about the speakers, one good little way, if you happen to have uh, an ohm meter, you can check across to see if it's, uh, if it's showing that it does, in fact, have about the resistance or the, uh, the impedance that it should. Um, and also, like I said, tap. This is the good. Nice little salad drum-like sound with a suspension that moves freely and easily. And if you tap and get that rattly sound, or if you gently move the speaker a little bit, and get that awful scraping noise, then you pretty much know that that speaker is toast, and the only way to bring it back to life would be with a full recone. Uh, and in some cases that's worth it, in most cases it's not. Goodbye!